Hello there and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. In the preceding module we started looking at relationships and in order to set up a relationship I created a new table containing the types of trip and a link table that's going to link each trip with the types that the trip has. So in that way we are building a relationship between trip and type. So I need to set up essentially two relationships, trip to trip type. So each relationship is based on the ID in the trip table. And each trip has a unique identifier, that's the primary key. And the records in the trip type table for that trip will have the same trip ID in the trip ID field in the records in the trip type table. So in order to set up the relationship, we want to drag ID in the trip table and drop it onto trip ID in the trip type table. So we're going to select ID in tuple trip and drag and drop it onto trip ID. So what you'll see now is the edit relationships dialog box where I can essentially set up the details of this relationship. So the first thing I want to double check is that I have the correct tables and fields. So I can see there, tuple trip, I took the ID field, which is correct, and I dropped it onto tuple trip type, the trip ID field, so that is correct. The next decision I need to make is whether I want to enforce referential integrity. And I'm going to select that checkbox. Now, let me just explain to you what referential integrity is. So imagine a situation where I created a trip and corresponding to that trip, I have created four trip type records. So I might have activity, beach, cruising and trekking as my trip types. And each of those has the appropriate type and trip ID for my selected trip. Now, what would happen if I deleted that trip from the trip table? What would happen is I would essentially end up with four records, so cruising, trekking, so on and so forth, in the trip type table that had no links at the other end of the relationship. So they'd kind of be like orphans. Those records would refer to a trip that no longer exists because I've deleted it. So making sure that that doesn't happen is called enforcing referential integrity. So if I enforce, as I've done here, and then delete a trip, it will ensure that there are no outstanding records that reference that trip. Now another option I want to point out here is this one, the cascade delete related records. If I check this and then delete a trip record, Access would automatically cascade delete the trip type records for this trip. So that can sometimes be useful to you as well. Now I'm not going to do that in this case, but I am going to enforce referential integrity. And finally at the bottom here we have relationship type and it says one to many. So all that means is that one trip can have many trip types. I'm then going to select create. And there it is. So we have one trip with many trip types. I'm going to set up a second relationship now. So from the type in the type table, this is going to go to type in the trip type table. So let's do that. I'm going to drag and drop like so. So once again, I'm just going to do a quick check that I have the correct tables and fields selected. So I can see here the tuple type table, which is this one just here. I selected the type field and I want to create a relationship to the tuple trip type type field. So that all looks good to me. Once again, I'm going to enforce referential integrity. So again, as just a reminder, what that means is if I was to delete a type, I would want to make sure that there weren't any entries in the trip type table that were still using that type. I have my relationship type again, which is one to many. So one type can have many corresponding entries in the trip type table. And I'm going to select create. And there we have our link. And anytime you see this infinity symbol, it just means many. 
So that's really a perfect illustration of one to many. So right there, we've put in place one of the most fundamental building blocks in a relational database. Now, I know that if this is the first time you're seeing anything like this, it can seem a little bit baffling when you don't understand it fully. But it is one of the most fundamental aspects of working well in Access. So if you can get your head around this, you can pretty much get your head around anything that you might want to do within Access. Now, one downside to doing this is visualization. So at the moment, it's quite hard to visualize how all of these things work together. So what we're really gonna want to do is to add some nice forms, which is gonna show us. Now, we're gonna spend quite a bit of time looking at forms and how we can create them. So we're gonna do that in the next few modules. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this relationships window and I'm going to save. And I'm gonna open up my tables again. So let's open up trip table. I'm gonna open up type table and also my trip type table. Now I want you to think all the way back to the beginning of this course when we were looking at that notepad file. Now we mentioned when we were talking about this trip, so this was for the Grand Canyon family rafting adventure, we mentioned trip type and it was something that we left out at the beginning of the course and we're actually going to deal with this now. So this trip has five different types, so family, escorted, group, activity, and landscapes. And we're going to set all of those up. So let's jump back to the trip table. And notice that I can just jump between my tables by just clicking on these tabs, which makes it nice and simple to switch between them. Now I can see in here that the GCA trip has an ID of four. So I'm going to jump to my trip type table. So all I need to do is go to trip ID and type in four and a type of, well, one of them was family. So let's do the next one. So this is another one, four. And the type this time is escorted. Press the down arrow, that looks fine. Now this time let's make a mistake. So let's say that we're trying to set it up for trip ID three. And this time it's going to be group. And you can see there I get a warning message. So it says you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in the table tuple trip. So it recognizes that the trip ID of three doesn't exist. So let's click OK and just put that back to four. So let me just add in the rest of these types. Now you might look at what I'm doing here and think, wow, this is a really slow process. And there are quicker ways of doing this, particularly if you're entering a lot of data. But the reason why I'm showing you this in such detail is because I really want you to understand kind of from the ground up, because it's going to give you a really good foundation and will make anything else you do on top of this seem a lot quicker and a lot easier. So finally, I just want to show you that referential integrity at work. So, so far as we can see here, trip four has five types associated with it. So I want to jump back to the trip table. I'm gonna to go to trip four, which is the top one here, GCA, and I'm going to delete it, which is a little bit dangerous. So I'm gonna go up to the records group and select delete. And you'll see that I get an error. So it says the record cannot be deleted or changed because table, tuple, trip, type includes related records. So essentially I can't delete it until I get rid of the trip type tables. So everything I've shown you here is a pretty manual way of doing a job like this. So we are going to need to start using forms to make all of this a lot quicker and a lot easier. But first, before we get on to forms, I'm going to get you to do an exercise. So similar to what we've done in this module, and I'm going to get you to set up some relationships in the movie rental database. So please join me for that. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
to get a free Microsoft Access 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this Access 2019 playlist.